guys, it's me, Nina. I really hope I'm in the frame. I can't really tell. Today I have a book haul. I know I've been sporadic with uploading. I've really just been having other things going on in my life. And I love doing YouTube, but it's not a main priority of mine. It's just something I do for fun when I have time. So I apologize, but let's just get into the video. I have quite a few books here for you. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I have fourteen books, fourteen books to share with you. And these are books that I bought in January and February and maybe December that I never hauled. So now it's time. So the first one is called The Gallery by Laura Marks Fitzgerald. And this cover reminds me of The Great Gatsby a lot. So I think that's kind of ironic. But this is such a pretty cover and that's why I picked it up. Um, I guess this is kind of... Kind of, kind of Kind of like a mystery. I don't read the synopsis on most of my books because I like to go in blind. But this says nothing is what it seems and no one is who they are, who, who they say they are. So I guess it revolves around a couple different characters and kind of a mystery with them I guess. That's on there. This is called Wild and Bird by Wendelin Van Darren. I've never heard of this. I found it for two dollars and I was like why not? It kind of looks cute. Oh. Okay, this girl, I guess, went off the rails and her parents couldn't deal with her anymore, so they sent her to wilderness therapy camp. So these people took her in the middle of the night and took her out to the desert for therapy. And I guess that is, it's going to be all about that. That sounds extreme. Um, so she must have been fucking nuts. Um, the next one's called The Replacement. I picked this up because it was super creepy. Found it for $5.00. And I love creepy reads. This looked kind of like a thriller, and I, I love that shit. Um, I read a little bit of the synopsis so I could tell you about it, so it's not what I thought it was. Apparently, this baby was taken, this human baby was taken and replaced by this other baby that's not human. And so this baby has grown up in the human world, but he has allergies to things like iron and things like that. And so he's slowly dying because he's not meant to be in the human world. Um, but I don't know. It's interesting. I'm, I'm ready to hear what this is about. Then I have Perfect Lies by Kirsten White. This is the second book. I think this was only a duology, so I don't think this is actually a series. This is the second book to, um, Mind Games that I read last year. I really enjoyed it. It was really short. It was really fun. I really liked it. Um, I found this in the bookstore for $5, so I picked up the second one because my library didn't have the second one. Um, but yeah, this deals with, this girl kind of has like psychic ability, abilities, I guess, and they use her because like her sister, she has a sister and she's very protective of that sister and pretty much she worries that if she doesn't do what these people say, they will hurt her sister. So next I have, oh man. Wait, this may be a series. I hope it's not. This is called Blood of My Blood by Barry Lega. I read something else by Barry Lega uh, last year. It was called Bang, I think. I didn't quite enjoy that. I, I like the idea of the story. I just don't think he executed it well. Anyway, this is pretty thick book, so he better do good in this one because I am not going to drag through this if I don't like it. Uh, I picked it up because it looked creepy. I mean, look at this cover. Crows scare me. Birds in general, I think, are really scary. So, this shouted out to me. Um, anyway, apparently this dude dies and his girlfriend is kind of like a hostage to his terrible abusive dad and stepmom or something like that. Um, monstrous father who is the world's most notorious serial killer. Okay, this should be good. I love serial killer type psychological thriller stuff. Picked up A Rosy Girl by Julie Shepard. Never heard of her or this story. Um, oh, this is the one, she, okay. Her dad dies and she is left in the hands of her abusive stepmom. I mean, this dude dies and his girlfriend is in the clutches of his bad dad. This one is the one with the stepmom though. 
Um, that's all I know about it. That's all I'm going to read about it is that her dad dies and now she's has an abusive relationship with her stepmom. But, I mean, it looks cool. So you've all heard of this one called The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adahir. I think this is the second book in one of her series. Don't know which one. Uh, I just really like this cover and it got a lot of hype. So when I found it for $2, I picked it up. I know my library has these two. So if this is the second book in the series, then I got the second one and I can read the other ones at my library. Just a shout out to libraries in general. I don't think a lot of young readers take advantage of the free books that libraries can give to you. There are some libraries where they don't really focus a lot on the young adult section, which is really sad, but there's also a lot of great libraries that do. So if you're ever really into a book, you might want to check your library first before dropping the money on that book. Also, um, I, not all libraries do this, but my library does. If there's a book that they do not have and you really want it, you can request that they get it from a different library. So they might not buy it and keep it in their library, but they can order it from a different library. That library will ship it to us. You get to read it for two weeks, then you return it and we ship it back to the other library. So you still get to read the book. So, I mean, even if your library doesn't have it, they might be able to get it for you. And if you're interested in what that's called, it's called an ILL, which means interlibrary loan. So if you ever want to request a book, you just go up to the front desk and ask them if they do interlibrary loans. Ashes to Ashes by Jenny Han and Sabaya Vivian. I don't know how you say her name. I'm sorry. Um, honestly, this looks like something I would have read when I was 15, but I saw it for pretty cheap, and I knew this used to be a popular series. Jenny Han's a popular author. I'm not really into that type of stuff. But um, this was more a revenge story, I guess. They went to right some wrongs, so it kind of seems like a contemporary revenge story to me. So it might be my thing. I might give it a try. That's why I picked it up. I have Alex and Eliza uh, by Melissa De La Cruz. She is popular for writing the Beautiful Creature series, which I really liked the first two in that. And then I felt like the series went downhill. The movie was awful. Um, anyway, I decided to give this one a chance because a lot of people were hyping this one as well. So I found this for $2. Um, $2. This says $13. That's not where I got it from. Anyway, I got this for $2. Hardback. It was a really beautiful cover. And um, yeah, again, I don't really know if I'm going to like this one. I picked it up because it was cheap and hyped. But it's contemporary love story and it's a historical fiction which I did not know at the time and I'm not into historical fiction at all so we'll see. then I picked up Kids of Appetite by David Arnold I saw this around booktube for a while found it for two dollars bought it for two dollars don't really know what it's about kind of gives me like a random ragtag group of kids get together and do some weird shit. That's what I think, but I'm not going to read the synopsis. Then I have The Skies Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. This is a different cover than what I'm used to seeing, and I don't know if I own this one. I think I own it in the different cover, but I saw this and I was like, wait, this is a different cover. Do I own this book? I, would, I don't know. So I bought it again. And I'm pretty sure I do own this book. Um, but I got it for $2, so it's not, I'm not breaking the bank on it. But um, I guess her sister dies and she has to deal with that tragedy. That's all I really know. <laughs> this one I got for free from my library. Um, they have a book sale room, it's by donation. But a lot of times if they're going to throw some out and take them to the trash, I go through them and I, I take them home with me. So this is one of them. It's called Push by... Sapphire is that does this person not have a last name I don't know if that's her name I don't know anyway uh this has a lot of fucked up shit in it and it's a pretty short book so I definitely wanted to pick it up um I mean she's raped by her father her mother beats her up her school doesn't care about her she gets pregnant from her father twice I mean that's that's, that's enough for me. It's I'm sold. Then we have another one I picked up from my library. I don't... 
My library doesn't get a lot of young adult donations, so when we do, I just take them. <laughs> um, this is a young adult, it looked like to me at least. It's called Drama High. Um, I'm guessing this is like theater kids. It doesn't look like something I like, so if I don't get around to it, I'm probably just going to re-donate it to my library. And the last one I have is 4 by Veronica Roth. This was a long time ago, but it looks brand new. It was donated to my library. Um, 4 is just Divergent and 4 is Perspective, I guess. Um, and he tells the story, so I thought that was interesting. I still never read it, so I might give this a chance. I don't know. Oh. All of those books just fell. All right, have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.